You are honestly not going to believe the pieces that I found at Walmart recently. I think timeless classic capsule wardrobe vibes under 40. I'm honestly so shocked by these pieces. I just want to get this video up as quick as possible because I know they're going to sell quickly. So let's just jump right in. Okay, first up is this striped top. It's navy and white, has a roomy fit. I'm wearing a size small. This looks almost identical to the one that I bought from J. Crew. Granted, that one does have like a cute bow detail on the back, but if you don't care about the bows and want the look for less, this is such a great option. Has like a thicker, nice weight to it. I believe it's 100% cotton as well. Not a super wide boat neck, but it does boat out slightly and hits right at the hips. Paired it with my favorite white jeans. These sadly are not from Walmart, but I will link some different options at different price points. And then I paired it with these adorable pearl sandals. These were just featured in my haul last Thursday. I found the cutest pieces at J. Crew Factory. So if you miss that, I will link it down below. And then this bag is a recent purchase from J. Crew. And I feel like this is just such a classic summer look. Next up is this halter basic tank top. I love the halter neckline. It's a really just stretchy, forgiving fit. I'm wearing a small. I thought this would be cute for Memorial weekend coming up. Just feels very classic. Also would be great for like 4th of July. I feel like I've been very into navy this season and kind of embracing it as my sort of like the black in my wardrobe. I am wearing a strapless bra with this one and have no issues. The straps are not adjustable, but they are stretchy and have a really good fit. And then I just paired it with some Target sandals. Oh my goodness, you guys run if you love white eyelet tops like I do. I cannot believe this came from Walmart and was so affordable. So for one, it has a zipper in the back so you can easily get it on without getting makeup all over it. And it is smocked, so it's really just comfortable, has a good close fit without failing too tight. And it also works for my shorter waistline with this peplum. And the peplum is also longer. So if you don't like those short peplums that you have to wear with, you know, higher rise items, this one is so good. Honestly, it beats some of the Nordstrom ones that I shared in my last video. So I'm wearing a size small. It is true to size. Absolutely perfect. Um, and I just paired it with some denim shorts here. These are under 100. So this is just a little basic tank, but I loved the light blue stripe of it. And it has a really good fit. I like how it comes up higher on the neck. Personally, that's just what I'm most comfortable in. The material is very stretchy. I'm wearing a small. I am wearing a neutral bra underneath. I would say keep it pretty neutral. It's not see-through, but it's not the thickest, opaquest white. And then I paired it with some white shorts. I've had these for a while, so I'm not sure if they are still available, but I'll try to find a similar option. They have this really cute little ruffle detail. I think I'm wearing a medium in these. I'll try to put the prices on the screen. That's one comment that I've been seeing a lot in my recent videos to put pricing, but most of the time, I don't know what the deal is, but brands, like, I feel like they stopped putting price tags, or like, they have price tags, but they stopped putting the price on the tags, which I just, makes no sense, you know? So I can't just quickly look at the price. So sorry about that, but I'll try to put prices on the screen for y'all. Although ironically, this dress does have the price tag on it. So this one's $34. I'm wearing a small. I do feel like the small fits a little bit big in the waist, but I definitely couldn't size down because it does have a pretty close fit through the top here. And if I adjust the straps too much, it will drop the waistline too much for my shorter torso. So I kind of feel like it doesn't have the best fit on me, but I think this would be a nice affordable option if you're looking for something for like Mother's Day brunch coming up. It'd be great for church on Sundays, but it could also totally work casually with sandals if you want more of like an elevated effortless summer look. It does have smocking in the back. I just wish the waistband was actually smocked just so it fit close, but it's midi length. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference, so it definitely would be petite friendly. And I like the weight of the skirt. There's definitely a little bit more fabric, but it's not overbearing, but it just gives it a nice flow and kind of pleated look to it. Next up is this navy eyelet top. I believe this also came in white as well. It's a very similar style to the one I shared from Avara and J. Crew Factory. It is lined as well, so these eyelet details through here are not see-through, 
ruffle neckline, little ruffle detail at the shoulder. I am wearing a size small. Next up is this white eyelet dress. This one has a really beautiful shape through the body, kind of cuts in nicely. I am wearing an extra small, definitely need a small. The buttons here are separating a little bit. So definitely true to size. Um, I love that it's a little bit roomy on the bottom. It's not lined, but it's not see-through with neutral undergarments underneath, or is it lined? No, it's not lined. I thought I saw something under. There's no zipper or anything to this, so you do need to unbutton the front here to get in and out of it, but it, the buttons are really easy. They're not difficult to mess with. It is just a solid cotton, and then on the very bottom, there is a little bit of an eyelet detail. Next up is this really light denim dress. I'm very glad I sized down in this one. I am wearing an extra small, and here I styled it, but I wanna show you really quickly what it looks like without a belt, because it is just kind of blah on its own. It doesn't give me a ton of shape, and it's really long but adding the belt made a world of a difference. This is a very light, comfortable denim fabric. It feels like it's been washed and worn in type of thing. It doesn't feel stiff. And I styled this here for like a cute little summer country concert, paired it with my white boots. And then this is a like Western-y belt and it's pretty affordable too. I think this one was $35. I'm actually surprised how much I've worn it with all my trips to Jackson in the last year. It does have pockets and to make the front look the most flattering, I pulled all of the excess material to the back to kind of gather it in one place. That's just my little tip. If you find when you're trying to belt a loose dress, it's just really bunchy. I make the, the front clean by pulling all the fabric towards the back and I just think that's a much cleaner, better look. Next up are these really cute, affordable shorts. I paired it with this feminine cardigan just to balance out the utility look in the shorts. They do have like a little cargo pocket, but I am so impressed with the fit and comfort of these. They have a stretchy waistband in the back and you just pull them on. Really easy to get on. They all kind of remind me of the Spank shorts in that way. Also a perfect inseam, really flattering through the thigh. I like that it has the little roll detail on the bottom. So these have a really, really nice fit. I'm wearing a size four and then in this little white sweater, I'm wearing a small, it has these cute little bubble sleeves. I thought this would be a really cute spring and summer workwear piece. You can wear it as a top or unbutton it and wear it as a cardigan. And then I paired it with my favorite white sneakers. They are truly the best, but if you're looking for a more affordable white sneaker, or something with vegan leather, I will link another option down below. So this dress is lined with pockets. It is a little bit longer, it hits above the knee, so it's definitely work appropriate for the summertime. You could easily layer this since it is sleeveless if you want to do a light cardigan or something like that. Very easy to get off and on, it stretches in the back, so I just put this on over my head. These buttons are functional. I honestly wouldn't, I hate like messing with these types of buttons though, they're just, take me too much time and I'm, I mean, I am an impatient person, but thankfully you don't have to undo them to get them on. And then I paired this dress with these sandals. Y'all may remember this from my last Walmart haul. These were definitely a bestseller from that haul. They're very comfortable and easy to walk in with that platform heel. The strap goes across the top of the foot, not the ankle, which I find so much more comfortable when walking. I did get my normal size in those. Here is another outfit with this cute little white cardigan top. I paired it with these blue and green floral shorts. These are from J. Crew Factory. So if you missed my J. Crew Factory haul, I will link it down below. But I love this print. They also have dresses and other options in the print. The quality of this piece is also really nice. It's thicker. It's not see-through. It looks honestly like something that you would get at J. Crew for a fraction of the price. And I think it's a really nice transitional top that's a little bit dressier. So workwear, a little more elevated, casual on the weekend type of thing. Next up is this black eyelet dress. This also comes in white as well. This dress runs really big. I'm wearing a small and I feel like it is swallowing me. So I definitely recommend to size down in this one. I also added a belt because otherwise it was very shapeless and just a lot of material. It does have pockets and even with a belt, it is a good length for summer workwear. 
I'm 5'5 five five for height reference. Right now with this dress, I wouldn't say it's super flattering on, but I think if I size down, it would be a much better look overall. It's hard to show black detail on camera, but you can kind of see the whole cutouts here with the eyelet detail. So I'm not necessarily loving this skirt piece, but I thought I would share and kind of chat through why I think I could definitely style it up, but I was wanting it as more of like a casual piece. And I just feel like it's a little bit, where it hits is a little frumpy on me with how much material it is. Plus I do have a really short torso, so I usually try to avoid such high contrast here. I do think it would be better if I paired it with a black tank top because there wouldn't be that contrast. But what I mean is having high contrast like this, black and white, is visually gonna draw attention to the proportions and a shorter waist. So I do think it'd be better paired with a black tank top. However, I don't own a black tank top, so this is what I'm working with. But the skirt is like a cotton, flowy skirt. Definitely has a lot of fabric to it. So I would balance it out with a fitted top. I'm wearing a size small, size four six, and it fits perfectly. This tank top is not from Walmart, but it is a really good price point. It's from J. Crew. I think it was on sale recently. It has like a built-in sports bra to it. But it's just a nice basic. It's a little bit thicker than other white tank tops that I've tried. All right, this top is very similar to the navy stripe top that I shared earlier. It just has a different sleeve and silhouette. So it's more of a bubbled sleeve and a little less boat neck. But I'm wearing a small in this one. It does run a little bit big. So if you're in between, definitely size down. And then I paired it with some classic straight leg jeans. These are sadly not from Walmart. I feel like Walmart jeans always sell out like before I can share them or in my sizes like I feel like for the past year honestly they just have been gone so inventory hasn't been great on the jeans so I didn't even bother trying to hunt any down but this look definitely has capsule wardrobe written all over it it's just very classic here's a closer look at the sandals that I was wearing the last couple of outfits I have had these for two years and they still look brand new they're really comfortable Obviously a little bit of a higher price point, but they're really good quality and extremely comfortable. They're like padded and cushiony. I shared this dress a little bit ago on Instagram and I think my community tab on YouTube. Wouldn't be surprised if the inventory is super low in stock, but I still wanted to share it here just in case your size is in stock. So I'm wearing a small here. I would say it's roomy. I also bought a different color in the extra small and that one works. It's just a little bit of a closer fit through the top here. So I feel like either way works if you're in between sizes, but this looks like something that you would get at Vineyard Vines or again, J. Crew. It's not lined, but it is not see-through. It's a textured, almost like a seersucker type of fabric, but I believe it's cotton. This, uh, the sleeve does not dip down too low. It is roomy, loose fitting, and then you can cinch the waist a little bit more here if you need to. Those are all the Walmart new arrivals I have to share with you today. I typically do a new Walmart haul each month here on my channel. And stay tuned because I'll have a really cute Amazon haul coming up next. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.